hey what is up you guys welcome back to another video today we are back again for hokkaido gals are super adorable so we're watching episode 10 last time around we had a little bit of a trip with shiki and matsuo where they went to lake abash i don't i don't Abashiri? i think that's how i pronounce it but they went there to go fishing and they ended up running into fuyuki who was also there because her dad likes fishing as well so we had some nice little moments between Fuyuki and Shiki like they were just like they were flirting back and forth like crazy and then Shiki ended up falling ill and Fuyuki came over to take care of him she stayed with him and he asked her at the end he's like oh did we end up doing anything like you know because he held her hand and then she's like oh no nothing you were just sleeping and then he's like oh I could have sworn that I held her hand I guess I was dreaming so stuff like that is kind of funny it, it reminds me of uh Homie can't communicate because that one episode, if you guys have watched it, if you guys have, haven't watched it, go watch it. Spoiler alert. So that episode where Taruno became sick and he wasn't sure if Komi came over to his house or not. And then when Komi was like, he was basically about to kiss him. And then uh, when uh, Najimi walked in and she was like, what the hell? And then she was conflicted. That kind of reminded me of that where even Taruno was not sure whether Komi came over or not. And... Uh, shiki wasn't sure what, if he did anything with uh, fuyuki or not like holding her hand so i find that really interesting you guys i'm excited for this episode obviously this anime is coming to an end after this episode we have two more episodes left and i hope we get a season two if not then i'll probably end up reading the manga which man i have a lot of things to read um if you guys don't know i am well when i was younger i was really really big on big on books sorry I tried to say big in books, uh, you know, and my mind just messed up. So I was very big on reading and like books and stuff. And then after like for a while, I fell out of it. And then recently I have gotten re back into it. And I, I have so many books on my TBR list, you guys, and so many manga and stuff like that. So I, I have to, you know, it'll be a lot. Like there's so many anime that are ending who I like, you know, I want to know what happens next. So I'm considering reading the manga so I'll have to probably go and like, you know, roll a dice or something or like put all the names in like a little hat and pick out which ones I should do. But I'll get to that when I get to that. Hopefully this one gets to season two. I feel like it's being received decently well. So I hope we get a season two. I'm excited. So you guys, if you guys enjoy, consider leaving a like, commenting. If you're new here, you guys consider subscribing. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below. My full uncut and early reactions are available on my Patreon. The link will be in the description as well as a pinned comment down below. And feel free to check that out, you guys. Feel free to check out my other reactions. I would really appreciate it. And let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below as well. I'm not sure if I said that already. But you guys, without further ado, let's get right on into Hokkaido Gals are super adorable. Episode 10. Oh yeah, winter is also ending as well. Spring is coming. And as is where I live as well. You guys know I'm Canadian. So. Oh well. Sakura. Ooh, months already. Wow, time actually this way. Yeah, time this fly, bro. Oh, look who it is. I like her. Just waiting for him. Crazy, okay. Hey, Yuki, I wasn't familiar. Actually, no. Last episode, I got familiar with their game. Fuck your shit. Nah, bro, let her cook. How about you get it on the offensive too, bro? What'd you do? Yo, she is snapping. Nah, I like her. Nah, let her let her cook, bro. Yeah. Oh. そっか。桜も梅も桃も一斉に咲くよ。え、すごいな。春はいきなり来て、いきなり終わる。俺、春夏秋冬の中だと春が一番好きだから。
I like spring, sorry, I'm pausing a lot. I like spring, but I would say if I had to pick my favorite one, it's probably fall. Spring is warmer. Fall is obviously coming out of summer. Fall is a little bit on the colder side, but spring is just like when all the snow is melting, it gets so, it's so muddy and yucky outside, you know? But spring is cool. I like spring, but fall, it's, it is different. I like winter when I'm in my house. That's it. クリスマスにお正月にバレンタインよされるけどまた一緒のクラスだといいねおおウィーなんか噂だとうちの学校はクラス替えの時成績のいい生徒と悪い生徒は一緒にならないらしくてさ噂だから本当かどうかはないですね
has her little shuido witch. You're better than me. We're in a whole tracksuit and socks in your bed. It's crazy. <laughs> shuido witch. I have my switch right here on my table, right in front of me. See, if you were him, you would have been like, yeah, I want to play games with you anyways. あ、オッケー、オッケー、ダッツ、ダッツ、ダッツナイストゥ。<laughs> Yo, nah, I like her a lot, bro. Okay. Okay. That's that's so funny, bro. Like these motherfuckers out here. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Yeah, literally, bro. Y'all out here getting nervous because y'all. That's crazy. てめえ。これほぼ初期設定のまま。購入特典のボーナスでなんか変なマスコットは当たったんだけど。いや、ダッグイズダイングブロ。ことがいいならいいと思うよ。いや。うんうん。とかしたいと思ってるんだけど、素
I don't know. You see, I feel like she has a sort of um, inferiority complex. I feel like. Mm. Yo, she is. Yo, she is so sick with it. She's so sick with it. Like. The way she just cooks this guy every chance she gets is actually so crazy. Yeah, you're comfortable with her, so it's nice. She's about to cook him again. Yeah, she's about to fry this guy right now. Deep fried suba. Tsubasa so coming in. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh man, <laughs> yo, this girl is too much. Okay, <laughs> yo, yo, Fuyuki, yo, she. Yo, her game is crazy. Yeah, oh man, Akino, no, Akino, no. Okay, okay. しきくんと冬木さんが暮らすの代表になってくれてよかったです。ご苦労様。お疲れ様でした。じゃあね、先生。ピーチ。これ、is What's go I, I'm not familiar with what Golden Week is. I might look it up. But this is looking like a confession is incoming, bro. Already? He said, I have someone to tell you for a full day. He's about to start trauma dumping, bro. Just straight yapping for a whole day. That's wild, bro. So you guys, that was episode 10 of Hokkaido Girls are super adorable. A nice little uh, episode. I felt bad for Akino in this episode. I, I spoke about it during the episode, but I do believe that we might, um, we might get like go into her character and we might find out that she has like an inferiority complex of sorts because she was saying that, oh, you guys are all amazing, but I'm just a little same old me. And then you know when she was trying to volunteer to be a vice president of Fuki did she just put her hand down and you know just stuff like that i feel like is like and then, like i don't know it just you know and then when she was like when she was saying oh if i've changed it and she was about to say it's all thanks to Subasa, and he interrupted her and then he was like oh were you about to say something she's like oh no nah. and like you know it's all good so that i feel bad for her you know i i do and i feel like that will be her shortcoming in this like little uh love triangle they got going on i don't really uh, count rena because we barely see her maybe we'll see her more i'm not sure we probably will but i i don't like that she's like that and you know it, it's not obviously like i'm not saying i don't like that she's like that i'm saying that i wish that like she could notice and he would actually help her through that i'm sure he will at some point but i feel like by that time it'd be too late and i feel like it's too late right now too i feel like his main interest is in Fuyuki. They like each other. Like, it's clear as day. And even in, at, towards the end of this episode, we had Fuyuki telling Subasa, hey, you know, Golden Week is next month. Keep one whole day for me. I have to tell you something. So I'm not sure if we're getting a confession. We might end the season off with a confession. And, like, maybe, like, obviously, Shiki likes her. So if she confesses, then I'm assuming that they're going to start dating and she'll most likely have one. But I'm not sure how many chapters there are. I'm not sure if they, like, what will happen with the other two girls if he starts dating Fuyuki. I'm not really too sure. Uh, I hope that they don't end up having, like, a confession right away. I would rather them have, like, a confession towards, like, the end of, like, the story. I mean, realistically, this story isn't really about, like, anything, like, too crazy. So, like, you know, I don't think I could, I could see it going on for, like, a long, long, long time. Maybe two seasons, you know, because there aren't that many, like, quick characters. And they're, like, you know... And Fuyuki, if he starts dating Fuyuki, like, there's not really, for now, what we've seen, there isn't really anything too crazy that we have to uh, deal with in regards to her. Obviously, we, if we're Rena, we found out that she works hard, but, like, she doesn't get, people don't really acknowledge her, and that's something that br brings her down. <clears throat> and then Akino, like, I already spoke about her, about how 
she doesn't feel like she's good enough. I feel like that's that. Those are the vibes that I'm getting from her. That she feels like she's not good enough, and that you know, no matter like that's. I'm sure we're gonna get to that at some point. She's probably gonna think that you know, there are probably people better than her and this, this, and that because of like some things that were hinted in this episode. And I feel like I watched enough anime to know when people are dealing with that. If I'm going like too deep into it, you know, I do apologize. Uh, but it's something that's common. Like inferiority complexes are very common. A lot of people have them, and you know i don't and i don't think people should have them because everybody's unique in their own way everybody's different no nobody else could be you if you are somebody if you made it this far and you're somebody that thinks that you're, you're not good enough I, I assure you that you are more than good enough and i feel like a lot of people uh, should have people around them that uh reassure them of this because nobody else is like any one of us you know if you're watching this video uh, nobody will ever be like you and nobody will ever be like me. The two of us cannot be like one another. That's, we're all unique. We're all different. And that is, I, f I believe that is what brings value to people uh, because nobody else can copy you to a T, like no matter what, you know, um, they could try, but nobody could truly be you. And that is like the biggest, one of the biggest values in people, uh, you know, aside, like obviously things like personality and stuff, uh, add on to your value but i feel like the main thing is that nobody else can actually be you and i hope that uh akino ends up find, uh, discovering that and i hope that she becomes more confident with herself and i i i like akino and rena more than fuyuki i'm not gonna lie fuyuki for me at the start i was like oh, i like her a lot and i do like her a lot i do but i feel like I, i've said this so many times that i feel like i'm just you know i sound like a broken record but i feel like what fuyuki lacks right now is substance because she just like uh we're not really seeing much depth in her character despite her having like the most time on screen you know like yeah she like we got a like a little bit at the start of this episode where she where when matsuo uh shiki and akino were talking about games and stuff like that she felt like you know obviously it was like symbolizing that she's left behind but uh, shiki was like okay you know like let's go so she was like okay we're good but i feel like that's kind of surface level level um you know as opposed to like Rena who struggles with uh thinking uh, she's what somebody that struggles with uh realizing that she's good enough too because and people don't usually acknowledge her and same with akino akino's in, the, in in that same boat i feel like but uh with different things so i feel like those two have more depth and substance to them uh com as compared to fuyuki right now anyways uh, maybe we'll uh, just like uh, dive into Fuyuki's character later on. Maybe she'll have um, a like really good character development and stuff. But from what I've heard, uh, almost everybody prefers Akino for the most part over Fuyuki. There are people that like Rena, like myself, the most. Uh, but Akino, if I were to say, if I were to give a ranking, right? Uh, let's say like for me, Rena is 100. I would say Akino for me would be 99, and then I would say Fuyuki would probably be like 90. Like, that's how I feel about them. Like, out of 100. Uh, I don't. It's not that I don't like Fuyuki. I just feel like the other girls are significantly better than her when it comes to, like, their dynamic with uh, Shiki and, like, just, like, them as characters. I feel like their writing will be... Their writing has potential, you know, is what I'm saying. But I, I don't know. I, I do think, again, I do think that Fuyuki will win. I feel like it's going to be, like, a... Uh, actually, quintessential quintuplet situation. Or yeah, almost, you know, for people that haven't watched that, almost spoiled. But I feel like it's going to be similar to that. But I feel like Fuyuki is getting more development with the main character than the winner of QQ got. So I feel like I wouldn't really be uh, upset that Fuyuki won, but I would want one of the other two, probably mostly Akino to win. I feel like she realistically deserves it the most because she, uh, you know, obviously she has the same potential to spend the same amount of time as she, uh, with Shiki as Fuyuki. Obviously, Rena is a senpai, so she like obviously can't. But um, I feel like Akino deserves to spend more time with him as well. And the fact that she just like she says, "Oh, whatever," you know, she thinks that obviously that Fuyuki is just awesome. This, this, and that. We kind of got it. Like we, she all kind of said that at the start when we first got introduced to her, how she was saying that, "Oh, Fuyuki is all cool." This, this, and that. She did think that Fuyuki might be like a fool of herself, but uh, in the same breath. She went and she complimented her and said oh she's so popular this this and that but akino doesn't realize that she is you know uh, in my opinion vastly better not vastly better but when it comes to like character wise she is better 
Personality wise, they're kind of similar, but like when we're talking about like depth, I feel like Akino is obviously significantly better, but like right now. But you guys, uh, enough yapping out of me to for now. If you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like, commenting. If you're new here, you guys consider subscribing. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below. My full uncut and early reactions are available on my Patreon. The link will be in the description as well as a pinned comment down below. Feel free to check. Feel free to check that out, you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. I'm pretty sure I said that. If I didn't, well, there you go. And as always, you guys, I will catch you guys in the next one.